In this question, the principal defines theft and there are three important conditions that have to be satisfied in order to constitute the offense of theft. Now the facts in the present question are, Ajay saw a car parked in the middle of the road. As he approached to request the driver for moving the car to roadside, he saw that the car was open with the keys left inside. As Ajay started the ignition, car owner caught him and handed him over to the police. The site. Whether Ajay was acting with dishonest intention or not. In this question, out of the four options, the correct option is A. That is, no, as he never intended to wrongfully deny the car owner the benefit of possessing his car. Now, the reason why A is the correct answer is, the principle clearly provides that there has to be a dishonest intention in condition number 2. Over here, if we read the facts, we get to know that there was no dishonest intention. In fact, the facts do not disclose about the dishonesty, right? Whether the intention was dishonest or not. Rather, Ajay approached the car to merely request the driver to park on the roadside, as is clear from the facts, right? So, applying the principle number 2 to the given set of facts, we get to know that A is the correct answer.